We continue to follow the case of Dustin Beechner, who was charged in connection with the death of his daughter Jocelyn. News Press Now's Riley Funk is live in the studio with the latest developments. Riley? Thanks, Morgan. The Buchanan County Sheriff's Office confirmed 37-year-old Dustin Beechner, the man accused of killing his six-year-old daughter, died on Monday morning due to self-inflicted injuries that occurred last week. This occurred Thursday, September 15th, around 10.50 a.m. at the Buchanan County Jail. He was given emergency medical treatment at the jail and taken to Mosaic Life Care for additional treatment. At the time of the incident, he was housed in protective custody after being cleared from suicide watch by mental health professionals on Friday, September 9th. Sheriff Bill Pewitt said that on Monday that Beechner's body was transported for an autopsy and an investigation is currently ongoing. We, we run it like any other investigation. We do interviews, we collect evidence, uh, a typical uh, uh, investigation just like we would any other any other case when autopsies uh, are done and we get reports and things are finalized and all those things so uh, it, it's just it's often dependent on on schedules and how quick we can get information back Beechner's death comes after he was charged with first degree child abuse to the death of a child police responded to his residence on the morning of September 2nd after Beechner was reported to be acting erratic. Upon entering the residence, the St. Joseph Police Department found the body of Jocelyn, who was dead with blunt force trauma to the head. According to court records, Jocelyn was struck several times with an aluminum baseball bat. Investigators wrote in the statement that Dustin Beechner led officers to the roof of the house where Jocelyn's body was covered in a white sheet. He identified the victim as his daughter and was taken into custody and charged. During his arraignment in court, Beechner was ordered to remain in jail without bond. He attended his bond hearing on September 14th, where his bond was denied once again. He was scheduled to appear in court on September 16th for counsel status hearing, along with the preliminary hearing on September 24th. Now, according to court documents, the trial and hearing were canceled on the day of the self-harm incident. All information related to this case is available on our website. We will keep you posted as more details become available in relation to this case. 